stuff to even freaking do a video of this. It freaking don't take very long to fix it. Sure, a little clip. Yeah. If you were claiming you'd use it, I don't know. Or both. Heck yeah. Alright, so we just replaced this, the whole throttle body unit here. So that, because it was saying, it had a code pop up that was derating this vehicle. It was derating this car, so it was making it only go like 44 miles an hour. So, this is what the code came up with was this. So, I'm gonna, all it is is these four bolts here. And then you got a clamp here and a clamp here and this plug. That's all there is to it. But then when I'm done, I'll have to get in the car with the scanner and we will re, we'll relearn this to match the, the car so that it'll work properly and it won't give us any more of the codes. So stay tuned and I'll get this last piece back on here and then we'll get to the computer stuff here in a minute. Alright, so I got that part of it done. I'm going to get this X-Tools diagnostic system here, this computer. And we'll get into this car and see if we can get it all plugged in and get rid of all the codes. Let's see if I can get this thing set up here somewhere. Alright. Alright, so we're going to use X-Tools on this. This X-Tools scanner. You can buy them off of eBay or shut this door so it can be a little quieter, I guess. But let's do a auto scan first. Let's see what that does. <clears throat> this one, it's an automatic. Okay. Okay, now automatic scan <clears throat> it's giving us some engine control module ECM codes and a transmission control module supplemental inflation restraint and body control module <laughs> it's still scanning Body control module had 12 failures. The airbag had three failures. <clears throat> I think most of these are going to lead back to. So I think most of these codes are going to lead back to that that um, throttle body deal that we put on here because that was giving us the main code. So once this is done, we will we'll clear all these codes and see if any of them come back. So stay tuned for that. I'll get back with you guys as soon as I'm done with running this scan. Well, let's fire this car up and see. I cleared all the codes. Let's 
see if it does any good. Alright, so it looks like the only thing left to do that we could do later on, I guess, which we'll have to get some parts for it. Is service airbag light still on? But it won't even communicate, so I'm thinking that the airbag chip's probably bad or something like that. Because there's a little chip that has the a code in it, which it showed a second ago on this deal here on this X Tools. So I'm guessing if that's all we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. All right, so I got that all figured out. We changed that. You have to change the whole, basically, the throttle body piece with the, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? It's got the throttle position sensor. You can't just buy just the sensor for this car. You have to buy the whole thing and put it on there. So now it seems to be fine. We cleared out all the codes. There's no more codes coming back. No check engine lights. So it's just in the relearning process right now. So... We'll let it run for a minute and see what she does.